That is kind of oddly satisfying seeing them fill up like that. When my kids were little, they used to love Dippin' Dots. In fact, they still love them now in their 20s. And who am I kidding? I like them too. So when I saw this Dippin' Dots maker on Amazon, I knew I had to try it out and see if it actually works. Now, the reviews are not very good for this one, but hopefully my experience can be better than average. So let's see how it works in today's video. Let's flash back to my unboxing last night and then get started. And we've got some instructions, which might be important. Oh, very interesting looking. That, that's not what I expected to see in there, but that's kind of kind of cool looking, I think. And so these, I believe, are the dispensers, and these are the the cups. They're pretty small. I'm not quite sure what that is, but we'll figure it out. And we got some small spoons too. How about box number two now? These must be the six trays. I believe these are the pop pens. So let's open one of these up. Whoops, something just popped out of there. There's this little piece here and it looks like a pen, so I'm not really sure what these do yet. I just tore the instructions. I just tore them, but I'm gonna read these over and there's some coupons on here, which shockingly have not even expired yet. So that's kind of nice. Now, if we take a look at everything we got here, I paid $30.23 for this, which doesn't seem too bad. It currently has kind of an unimpressive 3.7 star rating on Amazon, which isn't very good. And that's about among over 500 ratings. The claims for this so that it magically can make frozen dots at home using any soda, juice, or milk, make dots in two hours. The set includes one maker right here, six trays, four bowls and spoons, the two pop pens, and the instructions, which I just tore. Now the pros on Amazon, there's not a lot of positive comments, and the ones that are positive mostly just say, loved it, they don't really give any details. People that didn't like it gave a lot of details. Quite a few people on Amazon said that the end result didn't look like Dippin' Dots. A lot of people were surprised that it doesn't include any kind of flavors or mixes whatsoever. There's a couple recipes that aren't very specific, and that's it. The recipes right here just give ingredients. They don't give amounts, anything, nothing. It just, it just says two ingredients. That's not very helpful. There were other complaints that it's hard to use and several people said that all you got out of this was a big block of dots stuck together. I'm gonna wash this up, read the instructions, and then get started. So the first thing we have to do is fill these dispensers. Now we have six trays and we have three dispensers, but we also have these pens that can fill them as well. Now as far as what recipes to use, they're not real clear. They, they, have, they have this which shows some kind of basic recipes. No amounts of anything given, just basically mixing juice and soda together. So that's all I'm going to do is have con different concoctions of juice and soda and see how it goes. So for the first container, I'm going to fill this one's kind of a kind of mango flavored. So I'm going to put some uh, mango banana juice in here and see how that goes. So I'll fill it about halfway up. Placing the cap on, snapping it in place. It didn't really snap, but it kind of slid into place. Put it in the base and slide it to lock in place. And we are, it's, it's leaking. It is already leaking. Hold on a second. Hold the phone here. We got a leak already. Seems like the leaking stops. So let's put it back in here. All right, for the middle one, I'm going to go with some pineapple juice. Now they say not to use uh, too pulpy of juice, but they're not real clear about how pulpy is too pulpy. So I'm going to give it a shot and see what happens. This does not look like overly pulpy pineapple juice. Make sure it's not leaking. It is not leaking. They also say you can use soda, so I'm just going to try that and see how that goes. I'm putting the cap on. The cap doesn't really lock. It just kind of slides until it stops sliding, so I don't feel totally confident in it, but let's see. All right, so far, so good. Oh, something's happening. We got leakage. We got leakage. The soda just keeps leaking. Maybe the pressure from the carbonation, I don't know. They're not really very clear on the instructions about using soda on here. They say you can use it, but they're not clear. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna forget the soda on this one. It's not gonna work too well. All right, I'm gonna forget the soda in there. I'm gonna try something else. Soda, the carbonation does not like that dispenser very much. This one should better. I got a Starbucks drink here. Let's see if that works. I thought maybe having some Starbucks flavored Dippin' Dots might be pretty good. If the Starbucks drink is not leaking, all three dispensers are filled. Now you can also fill it with these pins, which I will get to a little bit later, but let's try dispensing some and see how it goes. All right, after filling the dispensers, next up you're supposed to put one of these trays in the base. Now the tray is just a mold. It looked, reminds me just a little bit of the Ice Genie I did a few years ago. And the Ice Genie was not very good, by the way, but I digress. So there's a hole here in the base and there's a cup that you're supposed to fill with and that goes in the hole itself. That's the plan at least. So we're placing it in the base, placing the cup 
in the tray. I should point out there's also a fill line on this cup. There's a fill line right at the top there, so I gotta make sure I don't go over that. All right, here we go. I think I'm ready to fill. Here we go. Mango filling, take one. Oh, it's filling. It's filling. And right to the fill line. Now what we're supposed to do is pull this lever out and then fill the mold. Oh, and there it goes. I can see the mold being filled right now. Very cool. Removing the cup here. There's a little bit pool on the top, not a big deal. They say that could happen. You're supposed to just use a towel and dab that off. All right, so this tray is done. It's ready for the freezer. But we've got five more trays to fill. Let's keep going, Let's speed things up a little bit. Tray number two, we're going with the pineapple. All right, first up, I'm gonna dispense the pineapple into the cup. And it's not dispensing. Why is it not dispensing? It's not, it's not dispensing. Dispensing the pineapple. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. And we're to the fill line. There we go. Now for the cup, press the lever in. And you can see how it's filling up the mold. That's pretty cool. I like the way that looks. Very oddly satisfying. It looks like I, they're not all full. I need to add a little bit more. All right, that seemed to do it. A little bit extra, which is totally fine. Just a dab will do you here. All right, so number two out of six is done. Let's go with number three. This is what I'm curious about. Can I make delicious coffee flavored Dippin' Dots? That sounds good. Will it work? We shall see. Dispensing the Starbucks drink. All right, so far so good. And it's coming out a nice good clip. It's not so fast you can't stop it in time. So it's actually dispenses at a nice pace. Now press the lever in. That is kind of oddly satisfying seeing them fill up like that. And it looks like this one's gonna fill up all of them, I think. All right, for number four, I'm gonna take the mango number one. I'm gonna add some more stuff to it. So I'm gonna take this off. I still got quite a bit of mango banana in there, but I'm gonna add even more to it. I've got some oat milk here. I'm trying to make it a little bit more milky. Maybe a little bit of dash of lime juice. What would that do? We shall see. I'm in a pretty big dash. All right, the cap is on. Is it leaking? Doesn't look like it. Maybe I'll shake that up a little bit. And of course now it's dripping. Now it's dripping, but we're gonna go anyways. Cup is done filling. Now let's fill the mold. There it goes once again. This one, I'll be interested to see how this one tastes. I don't know how it's gonna taste. We shall see. Taking the cup out. All right, number four, we got two more to go. This one originally had pineapple juice in it. I'm just gonna add a little bit of everything. Let's see, we gotta add some, add some lime juice. I'm gonna add some mango banana. And we'll see how that goes. Cap goes back on. That kind of smells funny, but we shall see. Placing the cup in there. Dispensing. There it goes. All right, now dispensing with the lever into the mold. And there it goes. That seemed like the perfect amount. Every single one of them is filled up. So uh, that, did, that did well. All right, this is mold number five. Now I have the last, the last one here, which you don't even really need this, this base for. You can just do it anywhere because we're gonna try one of these pens here. Now the way the pen is supposed to work is you're supposed to cap it off before you fill it. I did measure it out all the way to the top is to the fill line of, the, of this cup. So you wanna go all the way to the top. Then you place the cap on it and dispense it that way. Since my Coke didn't work before, I'm gonna try it in here. I'm determined to have some Coke Dippin' Dots. All right, now we add the cap to it, which is a little bit awkward with just one hand. I feel like I need two hands for that and the other hand's holding this in. Let me try it. Oh, I'm spilling, I'm spilling. All right, the cap is on, even though my fingers are covered in Coke, but the cap is on. Now what we're supposed to do is just stick that pin right in there and dispense it. Now what they say to do is to press the cap and then take it out so it fills the air. But to me, I think you just take the cap off and it should fill. That seems a lot easier than pressing that like a pen over and over again. See, it's filling. Even easier than that, I don't even think you need to do it that way. Just stick it in there and fill it until it's full. The caps on these pens, that's a big flaw right there. This could have got to be a better way. Got to be a better way. So now I have to just wipe off the excess. All right, I've got all six trays here. We're going in the freezer, they say two to three hours. I'm going to give it at least three hours, maybe a little longer than that. We'll come back then, crack them open and see how they turned out. 
All right, it's been four hours. They say two to three, so they should be nice and frozen by now. Now, according to the instructions, the next thing you're supposed to do is remove it from the freezer and run it underwater for five to 10 seconds. So let's do that. Time for the moment of truth here. This is the mango. This is the first one I did. Now, the next thing you're supposed to do is bend the tray back and forth one or two times to break up the dots. Hmm, it doesn't sound like anything's breaking. When you do this to an ice cube tray, you usually hear something. Here, I don't, I don't really hear anything. Nothing seems to be breaking up. I, don't know. I honestly don't have a very good feeling about this, but we'll see. Hopefully, I'm wrong. Let's check it out. Let's see. We, oh, something's, something's in there. We got something, and they're kind of stuck. That's what we got, but they haven't really come apart yet. I use one of their spoons here. Oh, I'm making a mess. I wouldn't say they're dipping dots, but they're dot-like. All right, there we go. What do you guys think? I mean, they're, they're circular frozen treats. I guess in that respect, they're like dip, dipping dots. Let's taste it and see what we got here. I mean, it's pretty good. It's a nice frozen treat. It's not a dipping dot, but it's a frozen treat. This was a little bit difficult to get off there, but let me try the next one and see how it goes. I believe this was the pineapple. I just pulled that one out of there, ran under the sink for about 10 seconds. Let's see what we got. It looks a lot like the first one. It looks a lot like the first one. They don't really come out that easily, but it, it, they are coming out. Oh, that's not too bad. I feel like the pineapple actually came out better than the, uh, than the mango did. Not bad looking, really. That's the mango banana, and over here is the pineapple. The pineapple came out better. It just looks more like uh, like dots. They don't the dipping dots are more like ice cream. This is just like a frozen treat, but it kind of looks like them a little bit. Uh, let me taste this one now. Pretty good frozen treat, but still not a dipping dot. All right, so this is the one I'm most curious about. This is the Starbucks coffee drink. This one's milk based. If anything's like dipping dots, this should be it. Let's see. I ran it underwater for 10 seconds. Let's uh, try to bend it around, and I never hear any kind of crackling like you'd expect from like an ice cube tray. It's not happening here but the bending is kind of working a little bit, I guess. Almost the entire uh, batch is on one side. Getting them out of here is a, is a bit of a, a bit of work. And sometimes they just don't want to come out at all. Good enough, good enough. Let me break these up. Now, this is my Starbucks coffee one. It looks pretty good. I'm, I have high hopes for this one. Don't let me down, Dippin' Dots maker. Here we go. It's pretty good. Not bad. Before I go any further, let me pull out some real Dippin' Dots and show you what those look like. All right, here's how Dippin' Dots come these days in a package most of the time. But let's uh, take a look at these compared to what I've made. Real Dippin' Dots, fake Dippin' Dots. They are not the same thing. These are real Dippin' Dots. These are real, not Dippin' Dots. Oh, totally different texture. Totally different texture. It's not terrible, but it's not the same thing. The fourth one I did was kind of my concoction here. Let's uh, check this one out. I ran it under hot water. I'll do some bending here, which isn't very, I don't think this is, really does much, but I'm trying anyways. Oh, this one's pulling apart pretty easily. Look at this. I mean, it's separated pretty well. Will it go in there pretty well? Let's see. Yeah, not bad. Look at that. That actually came out better than any of the others. I don't even remember what this concoction was, but that's what we got. Let's taste it kind of a pineapple mango flavor. Not bad. Is it like Dippin' Dots? Nope. Number five, I don't even remember what this one was, but let's uh, see what it tastes like. If you were doing this with kids, I think the kids might struggle with that aspect of it opening up. It's a, it takes a little bit of a uh, little bit of prying them apart. And it seems like depending on the on the consistency of the liquid you put in there is how easy it is to come out. This one is not coming out at all. So I end up having to kind of scrape it, which ruins the, the dot effect. Oh, well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give up on this one. This one's just like stuck in there. They barely look like dots because I had to scrape them. Let me taste it. Tastes pretty good. And finally, this one I'm kind of curious about. That's the Coke Dippin' Dots. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this one actually made a cracking kind of sound, unlike the others. Will it come apart easily or will it be difficult? It's coming apart pretty easily, I think. Or, or not. Well, I spoke too soon. Oh, that doesn't, that's just a big mess. Look at that, that barely, there's barely even dots here. Barely even dots. You're better off just putting some Coke and some ice cream chase and calling it good. This is already looks like slush. I mean, it tastes pretty good, but is that Dippin' Dots? I don't think so. Dippin' Dots, fake Dippin' Dots. What do you guys think? I mean, nice try, but you know, 
not quite. All right, so let's look at the pros and cons of this. The pros would be that it's well made, it's kind of fun, and it does produce a frozen treat. The bad news, these ain't Dippin' Dots. I don't think they should have called it Dippin' Dots though because people are gonna see the word Dippin' Dots and they're gonna think of this, and what they're gonna get is this, not the same thing. Although this is pretty good, it's not this. If they called it something generic like Frozen Balm Treat Maker, they'd be better off than people trying to compare it to this, which is not. But I'm glad I tried, it was fun to use. If you've tried something like this, tell me what you think in the comments below. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.